Uh, have you ever wondered who holds the power when it comes to Ethereum main service? Well, wonder no more because the ENS community now has complete control. Uh, inside a recent post on X, formerly Twitter, uh, ENS founder Nick Johnson confirmed that the ownership of the ENS root key has been transferred from the multi-six system to the ENS root key DAO, thanks to a unanimously voted in proposal. In court, right, on March and see major ship by International Security Fish and, uh, and the team. And this is a series of meta allies in addition to Kraken and CNAL and use the Ethereum Foundation along with Johnson himself, manage the ENS multi-sig contract. However, with the new proposal, the power now lies with the ENS DAO. Uh, what does this mean for the ENS community? Well, uh, apart from controlling the protocol's root key, uh, the ENS DAO also has the authority to create and manage top-level domains, TLDs, and while the ETH TLD is set and cannot be changed, the DAO can generate and oversee the creation of other TLDs. This opens up exciting possibilities for the future of ENS. Um, but that's not all. Um, the, um, the token holders within the ENS community now have the power to update and reverse resolutions. Um, this gives them even more control over the decision-making um, the process. Furthermore, the DAO will collaborate um, with the labs team to explore and potentially implement primary domain names on layer two solutions. Um, this shows their commitment to continue improvement and innovation. Now, let's talk numbers. In October, ENS experienced its highest monthly count of name registrations since the year began. According to a Dune Analytics dashboard, there were a whopping 56,869 F name registrations in that 31 day period. However, there was a decline in November with only 20,877 name registrations made. That's a significant 63%. Recording 7,204 name registrations, uh, it is now live and for medicine. Last Interestingly, the surge in name registrations in October also coincided with a rise in new addresses created on the ENS network. In the same period, a staggering 49,000 new addresses were created. Unfortunately, this number declined in November and has fallen even further by 96% this month. It seems that the enthusiasm for new registrations and addresses has waned recently. Now let's talk revenue. Monthly revenue from new name registrations and renewals has been on a downward trend since August. Between August and November, Revenue from new registrations fell on by 64%. As of this month, the revenue from new registrations stands at $349,000. And so the ENS community um, now holds the, the reins of power with ENS DAO leading the way. It will be fascinating to see how this decentralized governance model is government that will shape the future of ENS and the wider blockchain uh, ecosystem. And, and now here's a short joke about um, ENS. Uh, why did the ENS name registration cross the road? To avoid any name collisions, of course. Uh, with that said, thanks for reading. And uh, until next time, stay curious and uh, keep exploring the world of blockchain.